I mean, welcome back, Cheryl. Thank you. I mean, literally, I'm so happy to see you. We were and just you chatting. Too. It's been a while. It's been you know, too long. That we haven't seen each other. It's been a while that anyone, you know, has seen you. What does it feel like to be back, you know, back at work? Because this is your first day. This is back the on first set. day back, like, at work, 12 hour day today. And it feels so strange to not have the baby around. It is, it feels really weird. Like, I can't wait to get home. Mm. Just to cuddle them. And um, we're on the set of your new makeup campaign, obviously, yeah. with uh, L'Oreal. Yes. Um, like, does it feel nice to be all, like, you know, doing lots of back to makeup, back to hair, you know, back to kind of... Yeah. I mean, I know it's... It used kind of... It was always, like, work every day you used to do that. Yeah, but yeah, obviously, yeah. having, you know, spend time, you know, with the baby, you obviously didn't do the glam every day. No, exactly. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, literally, for, like, the first three months, definitely, I didn't put a single thing except moisturizer or oil on my skin. I don't have time. You don't have time when you're taking care of a baby 24 seven. It's just not practical either. Like what are you gonna do? Kiss and cuddle them full of makeup. It's like, it doesn't make sense. So today, having hair done, makeup done, just feels like a treat. Only time I, when I first put it on for dinner, myself, I looked in the mirror, I was like, Oh my god, I am caked in makeup. I felt so strange. But it's funny, isn't it? Because you know sometimes like when like when I go on holiday for like two weeks, I won't wear any makeup. And yeah. then the first day you wear makeup, you kind of almost you feel look this is strange. weird. Because yeah. you kind of get totally. used to it. But obviously it's a very different thing, you know, for me to be away for two weeks, not going on holiday. It's very different for you. Do you feel a certain pressure being, you know, coming back into the limelight? Because obviously, no. you know, everyone's kind of waiting for you to come back. Do you Are feel they? that pressure? I feel the opposite. I feel like I could care less. I don't feel any pressure at all. I it's like I've ha it's like my whole world has been turned upside down and this is just a nice little side step now. It's not the, the be all and end all of my world here. Well, that must feel so nice. And yeah. Has, has you mentioned a little bit about you know that you weren't wearing much makeup, but has your skincare routine changed since becoming a mom and having less time? Like I just you, don't have one. I, just, I didn't have one at all whatsoever. Honestly, I started putting bio oil or like coconut oil in the bath because then it cuts out the moisturising time when you get out. <laughs> so you're moisturised when you get out. Your skin feels lovely. So I would do that. And I think I'm going to start buying that because I have to say, I've interviewed you a few times, but your skin does look absolutely amazing Thank and you. glowing. So maybe, you know, there is something to be said for, you know, simplifying. It's called well. contentment <laughs> and I should, happiness. I should try that yeah. at some point. <laughs> um, what would you say, what's like the, the most, the biggest thing you've learned since becoming a mom, maybe about yourself or? Just to care less about stupid stuff. It just happens to you as well. Like you don't, you don't consciously make the evidence of what they're wanting. And think I should care less about this. Or that. It just happens. And looking at you know career now, because obviously, what are you are you really thinking about? Because your schedule was. I mean, there was a time your schedule was insane. If looking I looking back you know, now, insane. I can see it. But at the time, I was just on the train. You know, I was mm. going, 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 going. I didn't really say that it was. Hectic. That's the beauty of it coming back as well. I was like, I've got, I'm clear-minded now. I'm not. I don't have a hectic brain. I can say everything clearly again, and it's exciting again. And priorities shift, and yeah. your schedule is kind of like what it is. It has to work around me and the baby. So I do. I mean, you know, I am a beauty girl. You are. You are a beauty girl. <laughs> um, and I do want to talk about your new lipstick because you know I um, I made my own lipstick. I mean, whatever. And I went to lab and, and mixed it. I loved that experience. It was so much fun. And did you enjoy that? I loved it. But so I went there. I don't know what to expect really. I spoke to the guy in there who told me scientifically, tier for tier, what happens year to year what's coming in the future, what they do, like how intricate everything is, blew me away. And then I went into the lab, mixed colours, saw how they make eyeshadows, saw how they make mascara, saw how they do the brushes differently to make different effects on your eyelashes. It was fascinating. I could have been in there all day in the different departments. And how, like how did you, because the lip kits, there's three kits and you pick the shade, so there's a peachy kit, yeah. a greyish kit, yeah. and then 
the Bordeaux or the deep red colour yeah, is the yeah. one. That, how did you, I mean, how do you decide on that was the because one? Because at the time when I made it, I was like into that look, dark lips, stripped back eye. And then I told the woman and she said, let's make it there and then. So and she was like, I what's your favourite colour at the moment? And it was this. And that was your absolute favourite? Yeah, and then we discussed like whether it should be matte, whether it should be shiny, and we thought matte was a bit more modern. Especially for a dark colour, because yeah, I yeah, find yeah. wearing dark... Can I try it? Yeah, of course. I find dark colours quite challenging. Oh, it's a bit chocolatey. Yeah, very, very chocolatey. As well. Do you think your own... Because you, when I saw you on TV, often, you know, all the shows, you, you are so daring with makeup. Like, you do... You try different looks. And the, the thing is, when you have, like, such a beautiful face like you, everything looks good. No, but it's true. You have a face that... You just... Everything looks good on you. Has your taste changed slightly now? Like, because I love how you are today. You're very natural, just smoky eye. Like, do you like kind of... Has your... Do you feel more, like, more into natural makeup now? I think so. I mm. think so. Honestly, I would have been happy to just waltz around and just me mascara and me new lipstick. Maybe that's the way forward. I don't know yet. I think I'd be a bit more experimental and say what I like now and what I don't like, because I feel like everything's changed. Since I've been gone, everything's changed. That is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and well, one thing that hasn't changed is that you're still as lovely as you always have oh. been. That's for sure. Um, now, one thing that's very important to you is that one pound from each yeah. kit, obviously, is going to you know your trust. And mm -hmm. I know that you're working on a few things with the trust. Yeah. Uh, can we? Can you talk about a little bit so of the new? My work? trust now is opening a centre in Newcastle, which was the aim from the beginning, because obviously I want I want to be able to help disadvantaged youth up there that are struggling or struggling with self-esteem issues or you know like not being able to get on the next ladder for work and and all of that stuff and there's there's so many benefits to the centre and it's going to be opening later in this year so that's super exciting to me like that's a project I've had going for years for five years now I've been working up to that it's not easy um, and L'Oreal's always been amazing super supportive we've done lipsticks in the past where we've given money and stuff like that so this time one pound of each lip kit goes it's to quite a lot i have to say yeah it's a lot it's um, super it's important to me so and then um finally <laughs> now okay liam has said that the kardashians are often on on tv <laughs> at home yeah um whose beauty look do you like best out of the kardashians out of the girls yeah well <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, um, to be honest, it's on sometimes, but it must be him watching it because I'm taking care of a baby. <laughs> I don't know what's going down there. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, they're all beautiful in their own way, don't you think? Mm. They've all got like their own something going on. No, I agree. And also, they're a beautiful family. That's that's the thing. They are. And um, finally, I'm born on the twenty second of March. I know, yeah. And I just want to tell you that us early Aries babies are the best. <laughs> Can you tell me treats? Because um, I don't really know any Aries. And I mean, I obviously boys and girls are meant yeah. to be slightly different, but definitely like determined. But nice. I would say, I mean, obviously I'm going to describe myself in the, <laughs> Go on, in the best possible Go way. On. But I think definitely Sally. like big heart, but determined. Oh. So I don't know if you've already noticed quite a, a stubborn kind of like mm, strength mm, like kind of steadfast you know but um no that was just something you know that's amazing just want to let you know that but i'll have to you. get in contact if i need to know stuff yeah definitely you know where i am but thank you so much thank you for talking to us today thank you very much